Good day, good day, guys, and welcome back. Persona Free Portable. Now, this video is going to be a full Tartarus video. If I manage to complete this block before an hour, then I'll do a little bit of social sim after it. But no matter what, in this video, we are finishing Tazar. It's gonna happen. There's at least 15 more floors to go. Something seems different about the enemies in that area. I'll check out what's coming up. It might take a little while though. Okay, are they actually different? So yeah, we got Minako, we got Mitsu, we got Yukari, we got Koro. We might bring Junpei in later. We might bring Akihiko and Igus and Ken back into the fray. As I said in the last video, I'm really going to vary my party usage on oh, more of these things. You go up a little higher. Yep, travel sensing what's ahead. Yep, repeat Fuka lines. We've done it. We're this far into the playthrough. I'm even starting to recognize some of these Tartarus layouts. Like, I, I didn't recognize them on repeat playthroughs. Oh, oh no. <gasps> uh oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh no. Is that the first? Is that the first time this has happened in the playthrough? Oh my god! Okay. Oh, what were those? Those are weak to zero. Where the jam, 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 jam. This is jam time, my friends. Mazio jam. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> there you go. Then you pipe and smoke it. This is what gems are for. When fucking shit like that happens. Okay. Now, as I was saying, Tartarus, I'm starting to get very used to the layouts. I'm recognizing layouts, which I think I am more now than when I was playing by myself because. Oh, you collapsed. Let me heal you. Yeah, Yukari does that. Because I'm editing these videos and I have to watch them back, right? So it's like, yeah, I recognize this layout. Doesn't mean I know where the stairs are or anything. But, as I was also saying, Persona Free Reload, its official DLC, has been announced. Well, I don't know if it's been announced officially, but on the store page it now has, like, the DLC listed. And it's just as I thought. Persona 4 costumes. Persona 5 costumes. The Persona 4 costumes come with the fucking battle theme and like a duchess theme. Like that's why I saw the costume pack. There was no mention of like battles or FMC or the answer. I, I, I don't know, it's still... Oh, that was a misclick. <laughs> it's still sort of early days. Uh, I, I actually don't need that. It's still sort of early days. So it's kind of hard to comment on it entirely. But yeah. I bought the normal edition. I sent something. But it's going to take a little while to pinpoint its location. Please be careful. On Ooh. Find them, please. I'm going to guess this is Maiko, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, reload. So I bought the regular edition because 50 more dollars for a couple outfits, which I'm not even going to use in the bloody playthrough. Like for starters, I'm not going to use them. Oh yeah. And a persona pack, you know, like Royal had. So there's a Persona pack, I assume Arsene's gonna be in it, I assume... Yep, look, it's Maiko, look at her! Yep, we found her. So yeah, I assume Arsene will be in it, Izanagi will be in it, probably... Like, isn't... Uh... Izanagi no Okami will be in it. Satanaya will probably be in it. But it's like, bro... Oh, God. It's like, why am I gonna... I'm not going to use bloody Persona 5 and 4 outfits. I have the C's outfits. Those are the best looking ones in the series. Are you kidding me? You know what? I, I, I honestly can't be bothered. I just... 
I can't be bothered individually magioing these, so just save some time. Fuck it. I have so many gems. Here we go, Maiko, look, it's her model. The only time in Portable you get to see Maiko's model. There it is. It's one of the ones who went missing. And even for acquaintances, it's the same dialogue for Fuka. So yeah, we found her. Just jump back in. We'll find the other one. Remember, you need to do that if you don't want to lose Maiko's link forever. So, I admitted buying weapons from Kurosawa for this reason. I literally just found a 190 damage bow for Yukari. In a regular chest! A regular one! So it's like, why bother? You know? Why bother buying shit from Kurosawa when you can just find, the, find it for free? Like, so fucking consistently. This has to be a free boss block, though. I can't get a clear reading. Go up a little higher. It has to be free boss. There's no way. The last three blocks, I think, have been two boss blocks. Like, the first block in the game was free... Okay, these are new. Strong enemies. That means they're like four levels higher than us. Alright, Judge, you can buy the name and... You know, the stars on them and shit. Magic. They, they, they have the weave. <laughs> yep, Baldur's Gate 3 references inbound. Okay. Let's try. Group fire. Oh! Oh! Alright. That was unexpected. Good shit, Koro. I sent something above you. I can't see figure out exactly where it is. Fuka! Oh. Find them, please. Fuka, come on. Oh, I nearly went straight for the stairs. Come on, Fuka. God damn it. You had one job. You had one job, Fuka. And you blew it. You fucked it up. Now where's... Oh, there they are. Alright, here we go. I also noticed that I've been getting go gold rings from those Magnus things. So I assume I've actually done a fear request without realizing it. But yep, I have. I see you brought three golden rings as I've asked. Thank you. The wondrous Magnus is a tough foe, is it not? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I realized it was weak to fire. And yet, you still have managed to fulfill my request. As my master says, Seems you have unlimited potential. Take this your reward. Hey, money! <laughs> I don't need money! It's like the thing I need the least out of everything. Alright, what else can I take? Uh, make a Dolan gem! Ooh. I think if you don't take these, the item literally doesn't spawn. Y y you know what? You know what? We we'll just take this, just. Because it's easy to do. Just get it out of the way. Ooh! So Miniko just leveled to 49. But Yukari has just learnt her last available move. At least for now. Notice how she has no heavy spells? Yeah, she'll be getting those later. So what happens if you level them... So, how do I put this? Say you level them past... I know where it is now, 160th floor, still far away, but keep that in mind. So say Yukari, once she evolves her persona, learns a move at level 48. If you evolve her persona once she's at level 49, she'll just get the move automatically. So don't worry about over-leveling people before they evolve their personas. Just don't worry about it, just play how you want to play. But... Now that she's learned all her moves, it's almost more beneficial to swap someone in with moves to learn. Like Mitsuru still has two moves to learn, she has Mind Charge at 50 and then another move. And Koro still has moves. So I might bring Ken in over Yukari. Like the next time I go back to the first room, I might swap Ken back in. Okay, these are new. Regal Mother. 
Strike first to be careful. That means you're over leveled. I haven't been checking levels, have I? Oh no. Oh, whack. Ooh, crit. That's my new Naginata right there. Okay, fire spell. If it repels, Koro eats fire. Okay, nice. What should be weak to Zeo now that I'm bringing cannon? Okay, blocks eyes. You can't make this shit up. Level 53, by the way. And I also realized the Persona Theo wants me to fuse, I think, was also level 53 or 52. And I want to do all the Theo requests I possibly can. So, yeah, I'm grinding the 52 or 53 off screen. Oh, it's weak to darkness though. Korra can do that. Wait, repelled wind? Yeah, but drains wind. Okay, Korra, you can kill that one. Here we go. Let's try... Mamudo. It's not Mamudoon. But it's still a group... Yeah. That's unexpected. He doesn't have Madoon? That's interesting. So Ken actually learns... Stronger instas quicker than Koro does. Ooh. I think it's better just to hit it. Oh, Mitsuru with the crit! Be gone! I've noticed, I've been using Mitsuru a shitload in this playthrough. When in my first couple playthroughs, I didn't really. She's just really good. She has good damage. Her weapons are really good. Like, they usually have a poison or charm effect attached to most of her unique weapons. And, I don't know, a lot of things are weak to ice. Speaking of Madoon, Samayo just gave me Madoon. I literally maxed Samayo out just from using him a shitload, because he's such a great persona. But on that note, it might be time to bench Samayo. Because when I get to, like, I'm level 49, I could fuse a lot of shit right now, I think. Sense a strong presence on this 160th floor. Please be careful. And if you're wondering how far we are in the Tartarus, we're about two-thirds through. It doesn't sound like much, but... Okay. It doesn't sound like much, but trust me, these blocks start getting huge! Like, 40-plus floors a fucking block. Alright, he's, he's not gonna let us go, you know what? Please defeat whatever enemies My party can take him. You're not getting away from me! See, if you're backed into a corner, this ain't a bad idea. Because if your party's a decent level, they can take him. Like, look at this shit. And if they get low, just heal them. Like that. This is how I grind so Minico doesn't get overleveled. Like, th they got XP from that. Just very shit XP. <laughs> it still works, though. You can't do it in P4 though, that, that's... Like, when I eventually get to... Ooh, purple enemy. When I eventually get to P4, I don't know how I'm gonna do my parties. Because uh, I'm not gonna be able to keep everyone an even level. It's not gonna work. It's powerful, but we can attack first. Let me guess, level 55. Scarlet turret. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. I am intimidated. I, I'm almost tempted to pop one of these, like, straight off the bat. Like a summer dreams. Ah, no, 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 no. Strike Jack, brothers. Look at that. Two of my old carries from, like, part 10. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Agadine. Let's hope it's vulnerable to ice, because Mitsuru is doing a fuckload of damage with her ice spells now. Please. Oh, okay. 58! <laughs> 58! Arrow rain, that's dangerous! <laughs> yep, we're bringing Ken back in the party, just in case I encounter these things again. Yeah. Fuck no! Here's our chance for an all -out 
Yeah, we're jamming that. Oh, no. Well, no, that's not okay. <laughs> level 58. You know, I said I'd grind to the level the red enemies are. But am I really going to go 12 levels for my method? I'm just going to go to, like, level 53. See, look, wait, look, we did level 47. You expect me. Let, let, let's just have a look. Everyone's level 46 at the high, at the lowest. That's 12 levels. Nah, mate, not me. The enemies are getting stronger. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go straight to the next floor. You're almost 160 floor. Please be careful. I really need to swap Ken back in. Although we're nearing a boss, right? Like, I'm swapping Koro out for the boss. Okay, these are new. Grove Frelic. You know what's funny? Bar like the beginning of the game, I've just been running headfirst into the bosses the moment I encounter them. Like, I don't grind to a decent level, I just tackle them at whatever I get at. I don't think 49 and 47 is, like, acceptable. If all the regular enemies are level 50 fucking free, and the super bosses are 58. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's try... Let's just whack it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I got my strat. Minico always just goes for the strong wax, and everyone else does spells. It's weak against strike attacks. Oh! No one here has just standard strike. God damn it! I have free slash users and a pierce user. No one has physical fucking spells. Nah, that, that's alright. Ooh. That was random. That's all right, I'm sure Minico... Yeah, I'm sure Minico has a couple fucking strike personas. Fucking have a Gander. No? Mighty Swing. Slash? Slash? What? It's all Slash! What the hell, Pierce? There's no... There's no way! She has no strike moves at all! Alright, that's... Fucking shocking. Fair enough. At least they're not that strong. Oh my god. Do you really need... Ooh. Oh, she's close to that move. You really need a bunch of everything here. Like, actually. Actually, and factually. And here's some of those two. I haven't seen Gold Chest yet, or Gold Shadows. I usually like to find them early, so I know where to grind for them, because they spawn on set floors. But I haven't seen any yet. Now granted, I haven't been doing total sweeps of the floor, I've just been kind of fucking... Like, just going for the stairs. But... You know, it's a little alarming. I just want to get the 160 to see what the fuck's there. The enemy's on the next floor. Please be careful. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a crack. I, I just want to see what's there. And then I can determine if I should grind a little or not. Because, like, like, those knights from the last video... We dealt with those, didn't we? <laughs> we could deal with whatever this is, right? Oh no. I sense one shadow near the middle of the floor. It's very strong, so please be careful. There's no way this is the end shadow. There's no fucking way, another two shadow block. Hulk Hogan. Oh my god, look at that Hulk Hogan. Hmm... Let's look at my levels here. So, effectively, Minico's only two levels higher than when we started. And everyone else is pretty much the same. 
Except for Koro, who I'm not even fucking using in this fight. Yeah. Mmm. I don't know if I should grind or not. At least get everyone the 50-ish. Okay, I know what I am doing. I'm gonna bring Junpei in. Over Koro. All right. Should I bring in Ken over Yukari? Hold on. Bosses are a whole different ballpark from regular mobs. Like, the thing with Ken and bosses is his harmer moves just don't fucking do anything. And you'd almost prefer to have Yukari have, like, Charmdy and Mepacha. Oh. It's tough. Ken has more endurance. Because of my item. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm gonna stick... I'm gonna stick with Yukari. I'm gonna stick with Yukari. But... In saying that, I will change up her item. Because I don't think magic and crit... She's not going to be using spells much here. I, th I feel like she's going to be healing a lot. That's why, I, that's why I honestly feel, so... I'm going to give her an energy ring. I'm going to give her HP. And we're going to heal everyone up. Alright. This is my... Oh, I need to save. <laughs> this is my genuine... Balls to the wall attempt. At this fucking enemy. So let us commence. Okay, here we go. Ultra rare Hogan. Got some Mayo in front for my auto buffs. Go everyone here. This is like an OG-ish team, actually. Yukari, Junpei, Mitsuru. This is like a chapter 3 team. Here it comes. Here it comes indeed. Fucking Ranga. It is the boss! It is the main boss! Another two boss block! What the hell? Strength! It's Koro! It's Koromaru or Yuko! This is who we're fighting, okay? So, strategies, strategies. Uh. I think Junpei can do the defense buff. What else can we do though? Actually, I really should have used Persona. You got decent endurance actually. Okay, I I'm just gonna go in hard. I'm gonna go in hard with my damage. Alright. So judging by those tattoos, it absorbs fire. I now know. Hopefully it doesn't absorb Mitsuru's, because she is the main damage dealer here. Alright, alright, that's not bad. Kari. Get your wind going. Okay. Okay, it's a fire user. Mitsuru, run. <laughs> Mitsuru, no! Alright, considering it, cri it, it critical hit her, it didn't do too much damage. Like, we, we gotta look at things in, like, broad strokes, right? Considering that was a crit, it didn't do too much damage. Now, I have a couple plays here. Right? I have a couple plays. Succubus can't hit this fucking thing with Agadine. But Succubus is strong against fire. So, I could leave Succubus in it as a defense. And then just keep whacking it with my really strong, uh, melee weapon. Or... I could bring in Semiel and spam Megiddo. I think I'm just gonna try whacking it. I still think it's worth. I still think it's worth high counter. H high counter's a chance. I just go unlucky there. I still think it's worth just going for the wax. Okay, Yukari. This is what I mean by she wasn't going to do much damage, she's straight on fucking fuel bot mode. As of right now. That's danger. That- that's really big danger. You know, I, okay. Until I know what move this is, everyone fucking guard. Everyone guard. DEATH BOUND! 
my god, that's with a defense buff, ladies and gentlemen. I think we need some level ups. This might be another game over. <gasps> oh no. Okay, we're not using HP costing moves here. You know, you know what we might use here? Our defense just reverted. Okay. We might use some of these. This is the time for things like frolic. <laughs> things like best friends. Cadenza. Cadenza's just so reliable. Cadenza on top of Yukari's heal should fully heal everyone. And buff our evasion, which is huge. That is a huge buff. Okay, Mitsuru. You're the one at the bit. You're the one with the highest risk, but you're our best. You're our best damage dealer. Alright, so Junpei's a good choice for this. I'm thinking of if I get wiped, who I should bring next time. Oh, yeah, we, we we took that. I think everyone's defense just reverted. Am I? Ah, uh, uh, bro, I need to pay more attention. Okay, you know what? Just whack it. Just, won't die. just whack it. Y you two, just whack it. You're the whack brigade. brigade. How okay, theirs is gone now. Okay. That's huge. Oh, but it's gonna move after Yukari! Mitsuru might die if I attack. She might die if I attack. I'm gonna risk it. Hit. It blocks Pierce. Mitsuru is dead! Hey Junpei, you wanna be a... <laughs> you wanna be a champion? <laughs> Try and save everyone with this. Do I have an attack debuff? Do I? <laughs> Please. Oh my god, I have mirrors! Here. I forgot about my mirrors! Okay, we're safe. We have 18 of them. We're safe on power charge turns. Oh my god! My oh my god, I forgot I had mirrors! To finish it off. Oh, that's so good! And everyone's full health too, okay. Alright, this is looking up. I think I got the pattern down, I think I got the pattern down. Okay, it blocks the reflect, but that's fine, that doesn't bother me. So, it can either vile assault, assault or death bound. I now know, I now know what it does. So, it blocks pierce. So, yeah, kill rush. Kill Rush is the best bet for him. High counter. <laughs> of course. Okay, Cadenza's thing is worn off. Yeah, Cadenza's worn off on everyone. Okay, I don't think you need to heal, actually. I think Yukari can actually attack this turn. Remember, Yukari, Mitsuru, and Miniko still have a... A physical repel? Yep. So they're safe. Ooh! So they were all safe from that. But that means he can death bound without power charge. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning things here. Maybe it's safe to just have a mirror up. I think so. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be fool of him. Yukari, you can use a mirror. Attack mirror. I'm not scared of his fire damage. Like, the only one at risk there is, uh, Mitsuru. Defense down. No, mate, not you. Watch this. I have more items. Where is it? Not if I stat penalties party. Yeah, Dekunda gem. Fuck you. Oh. Oh wait, never mind. He just reset Junpei's buff, so I'm just gonna reapply it. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit trivial. There, we're still buffed pretty much. 
Yeah. But we're pretty solid. I say that. By the way, look at Mitsuru's damage. She's a fucking monster with that item. Oh. Power charge. Okay, does everyone have a mirror? I'm gonna risk just tossing another mirror just in case. Yep, everyone has a mirror. Okay, we're safe. We're safe this turn. Oh, thank God for mirrors. I say then Junpei just lost his. Wait. If I attack physically with Minako? Okay, I'm gonna swap some IO in. Just for this turn so I can use magic. Because if he high counters Minako's physical attack, she loses a mirror. And if she loses a mirror, it's over. Huge. But Yukari can't capitalize! There's n oh, there are physical items, but it, they're bloody fucking fusion spells, and they're really dear. So... Try and keep Junpei alive. Hopefully he can take whatever's coming. Fire Assault on him! Okay, that heal was huge. That heal was clutch because Junpei would have died without it. Yeah, that heal was huge. I say that and he's gonna die right now. Okay, Succubus can come back in in case he starts using fire. We'll just keep this formula up. It's slow going, but it's going. It's working, right? It's pretty solid. Yep, there's his fire spell. Okay, Minako's mirror's gone. Junpei's defense reverted. Let's just whack him. Yep, all the defense is reverting. So it's imperative. Yeah, I know. It's imperative that everyone's a full health here for this next round. With all their defense down, absolutely vital everyone gets topped up here. I'm shocked this was a two boss block. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I, I was focusing on him. Not so much everything else. I think Minako dodged his fucking attack. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yep, this is it. Pot G. Hey, Samael. My boy. My poster child. You want to come out here and claim the final blow? Come on, Samael. Play of the game. Woohoo! Yep. 2002. That was the year I was born. <laughs> That's literally the year I was born. That's good luck. King of Wands. Did it with a level 45 jump pack, so he just leveled up. Ooh, fucking oath. <laughs> a Soma. And two magic mirrors. Holy shit. That was incredible. <laughs> I... Oh, fucking hell. I feel like we shouldn't have won. We were doing so little damage to that boss. We were doing so little damage. He was doing so much damage. But we just won with strategy. This is the thing I love about JRPGs. And even, like, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go off on a little tangent because that, like, spiked me up. Made me happy. So in Baldur's Gate 3, I raided the, uh, goblin fucking place. Yeah, you, if you haven't played the game, this isn't too many spoilers. I raided the goblin place with Asterion, with Will. I'm doing a Shadowheart playthrough. Where I'm Shadowheart, like as the player character. Yeah, fewer enemies. So, it was me as Shadowheart, Will, Asterion, and... Who else did I have there? Gale. I had Gale there. <laughs> And yeah, we, 
I just set up a little room to the side of like the main throne room. This area doesn't have many enemies either. So I put a stair in on the high ground with his bow, with his uh fucking uh beef perk, so he could do two bonus actions. And I'd just have him fucking snipe and then hide and then snipe. Like, I'd have him do that. Right. And there was only one way into this little room. Like, actually. Hermes. There was only one way into this little room. So, I had Gale put grease on the ground to slow them down when they entered it and to trip them up. And I had Will cast cloud of daggers on the fucking door. So they all just flooded in to a kill box and I set Shadowheart up just at the back sniping with fucking spells. So it was just a kill box. Shadowheart and Will were spamming Eldritch Blast as they came in. Gale was setting the fucking grease on fire. And then if they got past that fucking front of Starion was just to the left sniping. And I had a conjured imp from Will, flying around the fucking room, getting, like, flying to the high ground where their art just tried sniping me and just fucking them off. It, it was so good, because I was super underleveled for the fight. And it was like a 5v fucking 20. And we, we did it. We, we did it, boys. We pulled it off. <laughs> it was pretty sick. And that's what this reminded me of. Just a really sick thing in an RPG where you overcome a hard challenge through using your brain and just just succeeding, just knowing how the game works, just planning your actions it was some beautiful stuff but that monologue perfect timing for the end that seems to be the top but there's nothing there yep Ladies and gentlemen, there's no more stairs. Look, we can see the sky. We can see below us. But is this really the top of Tartarus? Old Doc 07. Let's read it. I've heard it all. Plan is evil, but there's hope if people could control the shadows inside them. What? Almost like personas dun 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 yep no more stairs considering the last full moon is on the horizon literally on the horizon yeah this looks to be the end of Tartarus for now 164 floors so let us descend and let us trade this into Theo it seems you've treated the sevenfold document from the highest region of Tazar. That means you've finished exploring the fourth block of Tartarus. However, I feel your greatest challenge is yet to come. My master and I watched your growth with great delight. I hope you'll be alright. Hey, that rhymed. Look at that Mega Dolan gem. That'll be pretty useful, I think. Okay, so, the block is done, but I am at 50 minutes on my raw recording, which I usually edit down. So we're probably about 40 minutes into this video, which means there's 20 minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind off screen. I'm going to finish all the video requests I have open. I'm going to get everyone to an appropriate level. And then we are going to jump back in the social sim for the last 20, 15 minutes of the video. So what that means is the last 20 minutes of this video will be recorded on a separate day, but will still be a part of the same video. So we will cut to there in 3, 2, 1. And we are back three days later. Yes, it took me three days to not only grind everyone to this level, but to find the fucking rare Theo item. So let's just have a quick peruse here. Everyone starts really quickly. You can see all their equipment as well. I'll point out anything major. Like a big major thing here is Mind Charge, which is pretty powerful. Right? This master replaced Akiko's normal just move, so now his melee move is just punching them. Fuka 
has Oracle, which I will play the little unique cutscene for right now. This is Fuka hitting 50 in the grind. Here is her unique dialogue, because she gets unique dialogue for every skill. So let's have a have a listen. Oracle. My persona has gained a new ability. This ability is special. Even I don't know what it will do. So basically it's literally a coin flip. It can heal everyone or it can kill everyone. That's literally what it is. But it could potentially turn the battle to your favor. It's a roll the dice. Please let me know when you would like to use it. And we may use it in this playthrough <laughs> during dicey situations. So yeah, we'll see how that move works in due time. Here's Igus. Igus now has Masukaja and Heatwave. Very strong moves. Here's Koro. High counter. And here's Ken. He has gotten Spear Master, so now his normal melees are going to be pretty good. So that is the team here. Let's go trade in these fucking requests. <laughs> they took so long, man. It took so long. This one I already had finished by the first part. So you brought two red armor plates as I requested. Thank you. To defeat shows carrying this type of item must have been difficult. By the way, occasionally you may encounter shadows that resemble things in your world. Be aware that they share other similarities beyond their appearance. Well, like the t all the tanks being weak to Zeo. Spirit braces. And this. Oh my god. This katana is a famous sword that repels darkness. The Otena Mitsuyo. There are several legends surrounding the Otea, but a couple of them are especially interesting. The Maida family's daughter grew ill, and no one knew what caused it. So her father borrowed the Otena from Hidetoshi Toyotome and left it by her pillow. Her sickness was cured. But once he returned the Otea, her sickness returned. So he went back to borrow the Otania again. This happened time and time again, until Hidetoshi told him to keep it. The Maya family may have faked their daughter's sickness to obtain the Oten Otenta. Now I see the katana. So beautiful that that was their plan. I can't blame them. Well, I get three rubies, the rarest gem in the game. We need ten of those for an OP move. So now... Oh my god, let me accept this, let me pull all the personas and fuse this, and then we will cut to trading it in. Alright, so, clearing my persona list, I found this. Level 53, it'll go up to level 58. I got my party defense thing on it, that's pretty good stats, nulls two things, I'm losing my cow. The holy cow, I've had him for a long time. But he's now going. We are fusing this persona right here. And it will be a, a very strong one. Ooh! Okay. So Thor has a little fucking special thing. I think that's a weapon, actually. I think he gave his hammer. For, like, Junpei or someone? Alright, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna look to get him to whatever he needs to get to. But that... That's a mega powerful persona right there. Alright. After a lot of hoop jumping, we are here. Here it is. Level 53. Let's fuse it up. I think it actually has a unique skill. But we won't see it. Because I haven't invested that much into the old couple link. But it's basically a healer. It's like a uber healer. Look at it. Let's go on the Hamayan. Sure. Null ice. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Bit of a bad trade in this case. Actually, we can see what the unique skill does. Let me trade this in first. I see that Dice Soju now resides within you. Laser Persona is hard to come by, even through fusion. Indeed, must have taken some doing to obtain. Yet you added it to your repertoire so easily, you're quick, quickly becoming a master of the art of fusion. This reward should be something that one of your friends will be able to use. Please try making use of it. Wait, is it winner outfit can? I didn't even look at the fucking reward. <laughs> it's a useless reward. Okay. 
play Alice with Megiddo, I'm actually not far away. That's level 56. Level 56 is needed there. With Megiddo, that might be tricky. That might be a tricky one. My only Megiddo uses Samael. I don't know. I could probably trade it on through Samael. Okay, let's just have a quick peruse here. So let's equip Thor. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, an insta-kill all foes, very high light spell. Alice has the dark version of this. So I'm probably going to actually use Alice if I want an insta-killer. But, that is it for Tartarus. Also, have a look on my money. Yeah, 9.5 mil. We have lots of shit to sell, yada yada yada. But we're done. Holy dooly, we're done with Tartarus for this chapter. Okay, everyone, listen up. Everyone knows what tofu is, right? It's a high protein health food made of soybeans. And you steal it. No, that was sushi. <laughs> that was sushi. So it's always another food that's always been made from soybeans. Now, Minako. Natto comes from soybeans too, but how is it made? This. Right. Natto is fermented, which is why it's sticky. It's Japanese food. But even here, a handful of people can't stand the taste of it. What, is it like the Japanese version of Vegemite? Where every Aussie loves Vegemite! I love Vegemite! No, sorry, sorry. I love Vegemite, right? <laughs> Junpei. <gasps> he's open, he's open. I need to pull Magician Persona because I fucked all my... <laughs> I fucked my Persona list with my fusions. Hold on. While we're here, let's get these from the missing people. Oh, they found my grade school kid, by the way. She brought this here as a way of saying thanks. I'll let you have it. Doesn't fit a policeman's profile. Felt dull. What the fuck does that do? Missing guy the other day. Try questioning him, but yeah, black thing. I've seen that on before. High counter skill card. Okay, so what the fuck's felt dull? The store's S page turn in battle. Ooh. Let me look at spirit braces. Rents 1 HP on HP is 0 one time. So that's a focus sash, essentially. That won't be too bad on Minico. Although, I I'll have to keep that in mind. And we've felt dull. Nah. Because our next fight is a boss. And for the most part, bosses don't need SP items. Like, you don't need SP boosters. You don't need SP fucking rings. You don't need SP regenerators. Maybe on the last boss you need them. But even then, just use your fucking items. Wild Duck Burger. Oh, it's a mid rank! At least he's open now. At least he's finally open. Oh, hey! Oh, you Gary. Well, your exams are over now, so we should focus on the task at hand. Only one shadow remains. This will be the final battle. May this town rest in your hands. I believe in you. Good luck. I think 54 will pull us through. I, I have a feeling. When cornered, an enemy will fight at its fiercest. This is the basic premise of warfare. Only one shadow remains. I'm sure this will be the toughest battle of all. Please make sure you are prepared for it. I spent so long grinding. Oh, speaking of. I need to equip jump out of this fucking sword. Look at that. 40 HP. I might use Junpei. Even though I used Junpei and I guess on the last boss, I might use them again. And then I might bring in Yukari or Ken. My training's going awesome. I feel like I've awakened someone inside of me. When I train, I pretend someone's watching me. Seems to get me motivated. Someone is, Aki. Someone is. Alright. Ken or the Papa? I'm gonna do the Papa. Because he's level 9. I wanna, I wanna max someone else out. I'm, I'm like getting addicted to it. <laughs> so many people getting maxed out. You had some middling like, lucky charm. I think that literally raises your luck to like two if you equip it or something. Oh no. Let's begin class. Ah oh, here, Andy, Terragram Mush Maton. We've covered the times of magical growth, but now we're just about reaching modern age. Every art of science branches off into sub-studies as it progresses. Magic too was subdivided around the 18th century. 
some people preach about morals, some folks about communicating with spirits, and so on. There was even a man who found a modern psychology through his research on hypnosis. This too is magic, the ability to see into the human mind. As a result of fl flourishing magical research, witch hunts became- Oh no, the witch child! Before this magic began the progress in the secret societies. Pretty sure you've heard the names of these organizations. The Illuminati. The Rosenchusai Order. The Freemasons. The Illuminati. The Golden Dawn. These societies still with us today. The Fathers of Water Magic are too numerous to count. Not the Freemasons, no. For instance, this Elipath Levy, the man who attempts to combine modern and ancient systems of magic. His literature took a scientific approach, still published today. Madame Blavatsky was the biggest magician in the 19th century, and around the Theosophist. Many magical societies stem from the Theosophical Society that she founded. Mesmer opened the path to psychology in his studies on life energy. Rudolf Steiner helped spread the knowledge of Empress. I can't say these words. There was Alistair Crowley, of course, a 20th century grand magician. And Gurdjieff, a mystic who taught his many strings the fourth way. All them incredible stores of knowledge. Are you all listening? Not frozen with fear, I trust it. <laughs> I'll test you, see how well you've been paying attention. Get wrong, your zodiac sign will change. Aha, Adonai, Terragrammination. Who do I choose? Ah, Minico, I will see. Who's the founder of Theosophology? Madame. Very good. Let me be purified on your unlucky years. Now then, magical arts progress in verbal practical use. Knowledge spread to the people by the people we discussed today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything. Ooh, I guess. Ooh? Sorry, I was thinking. I was considering what I might learn by attending school. But that is irrelevant. Bro. It's so subtle, but she's, she's becoming more human-like. Maybe she'll be human like to open a link soon. Oh my god, I fused away all my personas. Here we go. Akihiko link after the Shinji event. Let's see. Music. Naganaki Shrine. I wonder do if Akihiko seem rather quiet today. Please don't play this music again. Thanks for coming out today. I'm happy to be with you. I, I see. Why are you so... I keep seeing the loss. I am too, mate. This music is her. <laughs> oh, stop! He looks down at the ground. If, if you don't mind, can I talk to you about something? I don't mind at all. I haven't been able to get it all arranged in my own head, it's head though. I could just slowly begin speaking. I told you a little bit before about Miki, my younger sister, who I couldn't save. I was the only person she had. There weren't any kids around her age at the orphanage, so she didn't have any friends. She'd always tag along after me, call me Big Bro all the time. You know, like Nanako. I could get bites down these loop. Why did she have to die? She was so small. She never knew her parents' faces. I had good food to eat. Or got to have any toys. She had nothing. Isn't there some saying? Like how being alive is a kind of sin. Like whose lips are trembling. Ah, uh, yeah. So, he's having survivor's guilt. Especially, like... The Shinji thing needed to happen here, because it reset his survivor's guilt, because he's having it again in a way. It's like, mad survivor's guilt. That's not true. Minako. His voice is trembling. She's dead and gone. I understand that. 
and I've accepted it, but I can't do anything about the anger and sadness that I feel. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. Here's what I wanted to tell you. I thought I wanted you to help me bear that burden. I know that's terrible of me to ask this of you. I'm sorry. I could go hide some space from you in his pain. I did tell you about this, since I could explain affection towards you. What's that, rank 8? Yep. He couldn't tell you before, but what happened to Shinji opened him up. I might be seeing Miki in you. But if that's not what it is, then these feelings I have... Yep. Why don't we start heading back home? We should get back. Now okay, go turn on the door, Miguel. Yeah, he, he's having those oh, hey. feelings. Hello, Yukari. Monster increasing, huh? Makes me think the shadow is coming. This will be the last one, right? Let's do our best. If you believe fucking Akutsuki, it's the last one. The internet isn't just for information anymore. It's become an important tool for communication. Every day, all around the world, people are making new friends, keeping in touch with old ones. Please remember that next time you go online. What are you, some kind of 2009 internet marketer? <laughs> what? Is it just me? Or is Aki Kusan different now? I agree. Instead of getting all depressed when Shinji was in critical condition, Aki Kusan parked out stronger. Shinji Osan was amazing. So now is Akihiko, but so is Akihiko saying now. I can't wait till I see them fight together again. Yep, he's realized. I received a compliment from Kutsuki san the other day. He told me I was doing well from an elementary school student. That makes me really happy. <laughs> okay, good for you, I guess. It's been so long. Mutatsu is the only one open. I'm not gonna pull a tower persona for him because it. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'll max him anyway. Because he's already high. Oh, yeah, mid rank. You only really need to pull personas for day links in this game. Because it's basically guaranteed you're going to max all the night ones. Ooh. Econ High School Student Council. Kari's working on his desk. Why is your Kari in here? Oh, sorry. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare for you to be here. Is it for Archery Club? Ooh. Yes, the teacher asked for a report. I see. Then you must be busy. These two haven't been alone in a long time. Like, not since Yakushima, right? Um, not really. At least not compared to you. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? Senpai... Why did you decide to fight? Well, I... I guess you could say it's my way of atoning for the past. I see. Well, in my case, I don't really have a reason anymore, if I'm being honest. That's why Persona stopped learning moves so early. Because she lost her reason. I know the whole story about my father now. It, in fact, it's why Ken! It's why Ken's Persona stopped learning moves really early, because he learned about Shinjiro really early. So he had no further reason to evolve his persona. He was at the level he needed to be to achieve his goal. The same with Yukari. She basically has no goal. So her persona, which is a part of her, it's, it's stopped evolving. That's a, that's a really cool touch. I love this game. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe I could erase the mistakes he left behind. Ooh. I guess I should have thought about this earlier, huh? Why didn't I question myself sooner? What's done is done. But it seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. In the end, defeating the shadows is all that really matters, isn't it? What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure. It'll all be over after the next full moon, but I'll probably still be trying to figure it out. Maybe so. But at least then we'll be able to return to a normal school life. The student council members will be here soon. If you want to talk later, let me know. What, no one invited Minako to this? No, that's okay. 
Thanks for listening. Ooh, bit of self-reflectiveness there. Is that Yucatan who just came out of that room? I wonder why she was in there. Seems like she's having a bad day. Can I go in there? I'm a member of the council. They don't even meet on Saturdays, do they? Door is locked. You, yeah, Mitsuru, you liar. That's all Fuka's doing now that she's maxed out. Oh, Minako Chan. <laughs> I'm glad I can see you after class like this. I hope we can be in the same class next year, too. Along with Yukari Chan, of course. You know, I like school. Thank you. So glad I came to this school. An unbreakable bond. So there's Fuka's social link epilogue. We just did it. 